Okay, and in this video, we are going to construct a perpendicular from a point that's not on a line. So I've got point P up here, not on this line, and I want to construct this, a perpendicular, a line coming down this way. If your line was diagonal, well, it's the same process, just turn your paper. Just turn your paper and do the same thing that we're gonna do right now. So, the first thing you wanna do is take your compass out, and you're gonna place this pivot point at P. And whatever, you could choose whatever radius you want, but you want to make sure that you're gonna be able to come down here and cross the line on both sides. So as you can see right here, I'm not gonna cross it, so I'm gonna try to see if I can make this a little bit smaller, and hopefully it crosses on both sides, which it does. And if that doesn't work, well, then you'll probably have to extend this line out further. Just use your straight edge and extend that line out further. So, but in any case, we've got the good radius that it's going to cross through and inter intersect this line. So let's go ahead and make two arcs. And we will make one down here. Oops. We will make this arc right through here. There we go. My compass is now cooperating and we will do it on the other side as well. So now we've got those two tick marks. Now, just like we did for constructing a perpendicular bisector, we wanna follow that same procedure. So we're gonna take our compass now and you can call these points X and Y if you want so that if I refer to them, you know what I'm talking about. We'll call this point X right here and we'll call this one point Y right there. So now you can take your compass and place it first at point X. And as before, you want to pick a radius that is larger than half. So basically what we're doing is we're bisecting this segment from X to Y. So you want to choose a radius that's larger than half. So that's good enough right there. And we're going to come down here. Let me choose a different color for this. And we are going to make a tick mark right down there, nice and big. Now, take your compass. You don't need to change the size of the radius. Put it at point Y now for your pivot point and move it back around right there. Make this tick mark right there. Now you have another point and we can call this point A right here. And now all you need to do is straight edge from P to A, and you will have created a perpendicular line. So let's go ahead and straight edge from P to A. And depending on how accurate you were with your tick marks is how good you'll cross through those and how perpendicular your line will appear. I'm, I was a little off here when I drew it, so I'm just going to slide this just over a teeny bit there. There we go and I can extend this out. So that is a perpendicular. So again, the process is, a lot of it is same as drawing a perpendicular bisector because that's in essence what you are doing. So that's how to construct a perpendicular from a point not on the line and happy constructing.